Welcome to the ADF Insider Essential Series which demonstrates common skills, tips and techniques that you'll require for building an ADF application. In this demonstration you will see how you can use an AF Iterator component to dynamically render an image on a GSF page. So what is an AF Iterator component? This is a UI component that does iteration. So every child of an AF Iterator component is stamped out as many times as necessary. And the number of times the child component is stamped out depends on the value property. This value property points to a data collection, such as a collection model, or a Java array list. So if my collection or my Java array contains five elements, then the child component would be stamped out five times. If the array contains three elements, then it would, the image would be stamped out three times. I can also refer to the individual element within the collection using the var property. So how can we use this? Well, in this example, we have a customer review page. Each customer has a rating, which is a number of one to five. And what we're going to do here is, rather than just display the rating value as an integer, we're going to stamp out an image, a star, the number of times for that rating. So if a customer has a rating of five, we stamp out five stars. If they have a rating of three, we stamp out three stars. We're also going to use a different image for each element within the array list that we'll build up. So let's see how we can do this. So in pseudocode, this, these are the following steps we'll have to do. In a managed bean on the, that will back the page, we're going to expose the methods for reading and writing the rating because we need to get that value in order to stamp it out that number of times. We're then going to create a method which will build up a Java array list and the size of that array list will be based on the rating which we'll get by calling the method in the previous step. Within the array list for each element, we're going to create a separate string within each element of that array which will represent the image we want to display. Because in this example, rather than displaying all the images the same, for each element in the array, we'll use a different image. We'll then use the AF Iterator component and its value property will point to the method we just created earlier, which builds up the array list. And that iterator component will iterate round the number of elements that's in that array list. It will read the current element from the list, and that current element it's reading from the list is the name of the image, and it will use that image to stamp out the next element on the page. So if there's five elements in the array, it will stamp out five times, three elements in the array, it iterates around three times and stamps out three stars. So let's look at this in demonstration. So here's our page and you'll see that we have five different images that we're going to stamp out. So let's first of all drag on a form as a read-only form. This is our customer's data. We'll have a navigation button. Now the first thing we have to do is create um, or expose the value of the rating in a managed bean because we need to access that value. So we go to the binding property, I can now create a new bean called my bean. And a property. And we'll give it a meaningful name that, so we can call it customer rating. So this allows us to read and set the, the rating, the value that's on the screen there. There you can see set customer rating and get customer rating. Get customer rating is the one we'll really be interested in. Okay, I'm now going to drag and drop my iterator component onto the appropriate place on the page. So there's our iterator component. And because the iterator component is going to stamp out many images, we drop on an image component as the child of the iterator. Because I want those images stamped out horizontally, 
I'm going to surround the iterator component with a panel group layout. So that will help manage the layout of each of the stars that are stamped out, the images that are stamped out. They are horizontal. Let's save that and go back to my bean because now I need to create a method that will build up the array that will allow the stamping out of the image. So I'm going to create a new method here. It's a public method and that's going to return a list. And we'll call this method get star rating. So calling this method will return a list and the number of elements in that list will relate to the rating for that customer. So let's do our imports. So the first thing I want to do is create a variable which will read the rating for the current customer. So I'll create a variable called rating of type int. And an integer has got a method here that we can call which will be pars int and then we shall read the rating by calling get customer rating we'll get the value of the customer rating get value and we'll call to string so what we're doing now is reading the rating for the current customer and making that an integer. The next line I'm going to do is create the array which I'll be returning. So let's have an array list and import. And I'm going to cut and paste in the next line of code which will iterate round the array list the number of times as defined in rating. So we'll create a for loop there that if we have a rating of four it will go round the for loop four times and add four elements into the array and each element will be the name of the image there either zero, one, two, three, four or five. So we'll have different images within each element of that array. So let's go back to our page and we need to wire up that method to the iterator via the value component. So the value for the iterator is now coming from that method that I've just created. And there we can see under the MyBean star rating. I'm also going to set up the var property. And this is just a short name that will reference each element within the array list that I'm going to return. And within the image we're going to refer to that var that we just set up to read or to reference the actual image that we want to display. So there's each star that will represent the value that's in that array which is the name of the image and because we're reading it from the root directory I'll use a forward slash. So let's save the work and let's run that. And there we can see someone with a rating of 2 has 2 stars, rating of 3, 3 stars, rating of 1, 1 star. And notice how we have different coloured images because our method was putting different values into the array list. So there you've seen how you can use an AF iterator component to iterate over a child a set number of times. The number of times that you iterate can be defined through the collection model or a Java array list which is referenced from the value property within the EF iterator component. For more information you can go to the Oracle Technology website. Thank you very much for listening.